What's up guys, Wilson here with our latest project which is this brand new Porsche 992 GT3 Touring. Now the beautiful color that you're looking at right now is a special one. This is Porsche's PTS Azzurro Thetis which I just learned is actually originally a Lamborghini color. It's been described light blue but uh, in person it's very much a light silver with a blue undertone to it which actually works very well for this car. So what this owner is having us do is a custom full body clear right alpha PPF installation protecting all of the beautiful paint on this car and also tinting the windows with the best heat blocking in Spectra Photosync IRD. So let's move this car in, get this process started and at the very end as usual, I'll show you the results. Alright guys, another GT3 project completed. So for the rest of this video, I want to run through some of the details for the work that we did on here. So while we're at the side of this car, let's talk about the window tint. Spectra Photosync IRD, and what this owner chose is IRD 70%, which is the lightest shade within the entire Photosync line. What this owner and other owners alike uh, appreciate about this shade is that it keeps it really light, almost as if there's no tint on there at all, but at the same time, it gives the best heat rejection possible at this light of a shade. So 70% on the sides and rears, and also 70% on the front windshield. Now, as far as the paint protection film goes, you can see by the final results how nice the gloss is on this film. ClearGuard Alpha is the best gloss and best optical clarity PPF in this industry and the reason why we use it exclusively here at Premier. Now, as far as the installation itself and the final results, let's first start off with the hood. For all GT3s, we always do that because on the hood, this is one of the more difficult panels and which is the reason why if this was done by pre templates, you would normally get a relief opening over here and a relief opening over here, which can be quite unsightly and also opens up for beer paint to be damaged by road debris from normal driving. Now, you can see that this is a custom installation so that it does not have the seams on the area and we wrap and tuck the film wherever possible so that it is getting the most seamless look while optimizing protection. Now, many of you who are familiar with the GT3s, you know that on the wing version, this is actually painted black plastic. On the Touring, this is painted body color to match. And normally, if this was a pre-cut template, again, this will be a, there will be a seam right over here 
This is a one piece installation, just like every single panel on this car to optimize protection. Now, next I wanna show you some details for the edge wraps and corner wraps, which, because that's really important in the way it looks uh, with the final results with any kind of PPF installation. So let's come take a closer look. Normally, if these were pre-cut installs, you would get a little pre-cut notch right over here and then possibly wrapping on the other areas. Same thing on the fenders, you would normally get a notch, a little cutout area. You can see how this is a one-piece installation and all the edges and corners are wrapped wherever possible to give it that seamless look. Same thing on the mirrors. The mirror caps are protected from the outside all the way to the inside for maximum protection. And even on these areas where there is cut out, we wrap the film on the inside so that you don't get the seam sitting on the outside. On the door areas next to the mirrors, normally if this was a pre-cut template, you would get a joining seam right over here. And as you can see, we don't have that because this is a custom installation. Just like how if this was done with pre-cut, Around the door handle, you would get a line of where the seam is. For this, we wrap the film into those areas, just going one step further so that you don't get that uh, unsightly line right over there. Now, recently we've gotten a lot of inquiries from Porsche customers asking about how we do the roof because they've seen pictures online of how others do it. So let's take a closer look at that as well. Around the antenna, you can see that there are no seams sitting on the outside. Uh, if this was a pre-cut template, again, you would get the seam sitting of a few millimeters around the antenna and possibly even more than that. We do all of that without having to remove that antenna so that, again, we don't have to worry about uh, parts on the car not being installed back on there correctly. On the rear quarter panel, this is a full one-piece installation covering from the top all the way around and all the way to the front on the rocker panel area. We then applied CGA 10, which is a 10 mils film on this rear fender hip for this owner. And what that essentially does is that when this area gets blasted by road debris over the years, all this owner has to do is bring the car back to us. We will replace this piece rather than having to replace the entire rear quarter panel, which can become quite costly. So that's pretty much it. And uh, the results are quite amazing. And I'm sure this owner will be happy with this when he comes pick up the car. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching another one of our videos. And please do not forget to subscribe, give this video a like. And until our next one, please stay tuned and I'll see you soon.